Hello, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making chicken casserole. So to start with, you're going to take one stalk of celery and cut it into small pieces. You don't want really large pieces because you want this to cook through thoroughly so that way it's not hard or chewy when it's in your casserole. When you're done cutting up your celery, you're going to need something around the size of a medium to large dish to bake in. Um, usually, uh, it's going to be more towards the large size. Um, just because you're going to have a lot of liquid in this and you don't want it to cook over. Once you have your celery into your baking dish, you're going to add a half a cup of onion. Again, cut in small pieces so it cooks through. So to your celery and onion, you are going to add cut up chicken. Now you're going to need at least three cups of chicken. You can cube it, shred it, whichever way you want to use it. But you need a decent amount of chicken in this to carry the taste. On top of that, you're going to add two cups of stuffing. You can do a mix. You can do homemade. It doesn't really matter if you had leftover stuffing. You could use that as well. Um, Anything just like out of the box is fine for this recipe. Just sprinkle it over top of all the chicken. Make sure everything is pretty distributed. To this, you're going to add on top a cup of broccoli. Um, again, spread it out to where it's even across the top of everything in the bowl. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take two cans of cream of chicken soup and then a cup of milk and mix them together. This is going to bind everything when it cooks. So once you thoroughly mix this together you'll have something that's a little thick and gloopy but you're going to pour that over top of everything that's in your baking dish. As this cooks everything is going to just mingle together and actually mix to what's going to be your casserole because there's not really much else you have to do other than what you just did here go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees this is going to take anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes to cook you will have to pay attention to it to make sure that you're not burning anything on top as far as like your your broccoli or whatever and when it comes out of the oven it looks like this the longer it sets and cools the thicker it will be um, it's a little runny at first until it thickens. And this is what you have. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope to see you next time.